Hi there, signs of cancer. This is Cam here to do your reading. It's going to be a next 48 hour reading. I hope you're doing really good out there. I'm going to pull from Osho Zen Tarot and uh, we'll just start off with the Celtic Cross. I have the Kipper deck, the Lenormand deck. I have the, I have those blended and I have, um, I already said Osho Zen Tarot right for the main thing. And then the gold, gold foil. I think that's all it's called. Gold foil. Tarot. <laughs> okay. No prison can hold this energy down. That specifically spun for you too, because there is a challenge. What is it? Mastering the everyday things, the practical everyday details. Um, either it's real busy, or you no, know, there's challenges on the day. On the practical details sometimes we want just ordinary and that is giving me ordinary life vibes like nice but it's the challenge just to pay attention to those things now then you have the Zen master as your issue so the challenge is the eight of Pentacles the work the practical the everyday the ordinariness of everything you have patience divine timing is uh trying to balance things out with temperance this you mastering your own thoughts opinions knowing what you know maybe even your views or beliefs it's really i mean it might have been a total breakdown of yourself self-inquiry and then now it's um led to that yeah it's led to you breaking the chains here you've mastered yourself your emotions can't even keep you chained into a certain place anymore. Um, you really have control and authority. You're the boss, the emperor energy here. Um, at the heart of the matter. Hmm. So I don't know if, if it's sideways because the heart is trying to decide on um, its next move or the strategy to go forward um, while being assertive but staying in your own power without giving any of your power away. Okay, so uh, past energy. Fighting for something. Feeling like you want to go after something. Seize the day. Um, Knight of Swords. Not really afraid of change. Kind of confronting what you need to head on. It's being determined and focused. Any of those can be flipped around on a shadow side if you if you relate to that too. I mean the opposites. So anything resistant to a change or to change would have felt a little pressured with that energy there, but not doing anything. So things might have been ready to speed or speed up or pick up. You have the two of wands. That's great energy. That's focused and it's planned. There's the bald eagle. There's freedom. Next moves. That's your goals and destiny. Is is what you are you have been planning? It's um, usually getting really creative with yourself or somebody else. It's um, aligning with your passion, power, and purpose. And like I said, aligning passions maybe with another person, making plans about that. Seeing things clearly about, whoa, relationships and projections. I have to see what this is, but I'm not going to place it. I think that it has to do something with this future energy, okay? So uh, seeing something clearly that you can trust the universe here with the Knight of Cups. It's safe to move forward. Um listen to your intuition this time and make sure you're not giving from a cup that is not full yet itself um taking so that means focus on your health taking care of yourself making those decisions that keep your mind and your thoughts and your perception as clear for you as possible tell me about um how cancer's feeling at this time eight of Wants in the reverse. 
in and maybe it's in anticipation sometimes you're waiting on news to come in um Are you may, waiting on somebody to make a, a decision or to um, break a partnership of some sort or waiting on news? Um, this, this is usually not going in a direction with this person at least. Not wanting to make a, a poor judgment call. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. In the environment, I think that's the one that wants to come out. We have the Four of Swords in the reverse. So you're just not wanting to think about something. Um, <laughs> the busier I stay, the less my mind tends to wander and overthink. Um, but there's a problem with allowing for enough rest, respite, time out. Mm. Don't want to think about something necessarily. Maybe it's overworking. Maybe that's why that's the challenge. What's the hope or fear here? Oh. Ace of Pentacles. The hope the hope is something new that is secure, that is stable, that is financially successful. An energy that's mature. Um, it's really all the good things from the ace, but it's a lot of the material realm. So, so like your um, tangible things that you have your hands into, like those are all going good. Seems you may be calling in a soulmate energy also, or you have one around you now with the six of cups. It just depends on your situation. But, um, that's like a dreamy kind of, and sometimes I get it as like a daydreaming type of feeling. What's the outcome here for Cancer's outcome? The Six of Swords. All right, so you're leaving one situation behind. Something, it, it, I don't know if it's something that some news you got made you upset or some kind of um, something made you mad. I don't know. Angry. So it's like, I'm, I'm going to listen to my intuition and not go down this road. <laughs> I have leaving, um, like completely getting up, leaving and transforming. Or it's metaphorically like getting to a better place in your mind. Um, after a period of like a big pause for a while. It feels like there was a big pause and there was not much passion driving you and so something came in to change that and it's it's changing everything up um you have the past lives card here uh and the moon so all is not clear but there seems to be a reason why you have some connections or why you will have some connections coming up that intuitively are just going to tell you i don't know to go for the tower moment <laughs> to um to move past a roadblock the moon indicates changes going to or coming changes coming choices seeing beyond the illusion and being enlightened to uh something that the, it feels like an, a path that the spirit realm is trying to like point you down but you have to be enlightened to this knowledge so this could be a really big awakening card really it could be um judgment energy Seeing past the illusion has come up twice, though, because your your seven of cups is in the reverse. So that's future, and that's seeing things clearly. It's basically choosing and, and seeing things clearly. Wow. You have um, this energy of not wanting to feel or to think about what it would be like to do something alone. But you do pull out of a time of feeling like you don't belong or like you're an outsider or any kind of financial or health worry this is like a sign that either there will be a healing or uh, you're gonna get really good news 
it is going to cause major change and transformation though with that uh, tower I don't want you to be scared of a tower when it's paired with the five of pentacle reverse it's it's good it's good and it's going to be progress that might be slow at first but steady and that's that's kind of what you want to see ultimately the goal is to master yourself that's why i think it might have a lot to do with awakening from um, the maya as they say on that part let's do okay let's do this deck okay sneaky partner in your midst <laughs> you're feeling like there was a sneaky person in your midst i feel like somebody did some maybe made a mistake with you i don't know their judgment call was less than good and you could view the fox here as clever right but sometimes you just gotta really watch out for the fox energy because Something they did or this energy did, I feel like made you upset. It's also associated with partners, though, too. Um, official person, military, 22. Really, just it's, it's, it's an official person or somebody with a title, a professional, or, you know, specialist, somebody like that. All right, so what are we not wanting to think about? How to get together. <laughs> how to get together working too much can't get together or something like that something's got to be clever or something someone's got to be clever hmm this person this woman energy 28 feels like a divine feminine energy from past life that's connected with that moon card maybe there's a pull towards the unlikely towards someone unlikely i don't know it might be that i don't know why you have the tower though but there's something that you're seeing clearly about yourself maybe through looking at the faults of somebody else that came in your life i don't know Yep, good luck on your side, Clover. Luck, success. Slow, but <laughs> the success. But you're feeling like this is doubting yourself. This is doubting whether or not some good news is going to be able to come together or not. Um, I feel like this murky thoughts energy, this is like, um, I feel that energy is actually on the way out with the Zen master because of that clear thinking too, with the future energy of the seven of cups. So murky thoughts, 33, master number 33, master number 33. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a child energy here. It's if it's not a child, then it is associated with this new beginning energy. And it could be like spirit baby, <laughs> spirit baby. Uh, then you have man, twenty nine. That could be a brother. It could be a friend. It's not usually a partner. It's usually the other other person. It's a loyal person. Yeah, brother, friend, confidant. Dad, boss, loyal person, a dog, a literal dog. Could be a literal dog. You have the good lady. That could be a mom, a mentor, a boss. And I have the siren too. This is usually about ourselves, but it, it's like a different aspect of ourselves. Uh, mice. Tending to those small details or wanting to watch out. These mice are clever and they are like taking things from the kitchen. See, in the picture. So, I don't know. This is quite some trip. 
that you're going on with the Odyssey there. Let's see what else Spirit wants to say, because I pretty much said as much as I really can for a little general reading. If you want a private reading, reach out to me. Um, in the description box is my email address, or not my email, my, well, I have that too, but my um, store. Four of Swords, Four of Swords. This one is um, taking time out and thinking about something, like really thinking. Time out, contemplating. <laughs> Needing to listen to your intuition because the High Priestess is in reverse. So maybe we just need to be more still to listen and be careful about a, an energy that might be trying to interfere or make you think less clearly or less good about a situation. You know what I mean? Like, cause that's an interfering energy. There you are again, Emperor, Emperor, um, Cancer, you're bossing up energy there. The emperor taking charge, being authoritative. That could be a mother, mother-in-law energy, but it's something that's in our, well, they just have a lot to say, and I don't know if it's all helpful. Moving past a stalemate and um, breaking free from whatever prison this is that your mind has got you in. Yep. Going right along with your progress, letting your thoughts just kind of, okay, that was nice. Now, if it's limiting, then that thought can just go. Another tower. Accepting the tower moments you know you've been through, probably worse, right? Empress energy in the reverse makes me feel like somebody is recovering. Focused on themselves at the time, or at this time. And I have four of wands. It's going to be, um, it's going to be celebrated. Whatever this is, this is going to be celebrated. Whatever you're ch pledging or changing your allegiance to, that's a celebration or a marriage or partnership. It's something really good. Um, Ace of Cups and the King of Wands in the reverse. It's all because you decided I'm going to, um, give myself the cup right? And then stop working on some things that weren't working. Start working on yourself. And that's what I've got, guys. You've done a lot, like, on your own, I feel like. Like, stop choosing the things that are not good for you or that um, are unrequited. And there's the Hierophant, another marriage type card. And then the Ten of Cups, which could be something coming into your life that could be very fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling and satisfying, like a completion. All right. Thank you so much, Cancer. Sending you light and love. Bye-bye.